Hi, I'm Audrey. This is actually supposed to be a 10,000 subscriber video, but I just cannot keep up with you guys. And right now, I think we're at 25,000, which is so crazy. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions about how I got to the point where I am. This video, I'm going to kind of explain my story on how I got into YouTube, how I got to this point, and just like all of all of that stuff. So I'm going to tell that right now while I'm making chocolate chip muffins. And I don't really know why I decided to make chocolate chip muffins, but they sound good and they look good. And I'm gonna get started with that. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting's like overexposed. So I posted my first YouTube video um, about six months ago. It was in December and it was when I went on um, a trip to San Francisco with my mom. So obviously the story starts a few months before that when I decided to make that vlog. I have always been like a really creative person. I was realizing that I had a lot of creative outlets in my life, especially involved with school. Like I had, um, for leadership, I'm in charge of publicity, so I would paint posters. I run our school's Instagram, so I had that. And then one of my electives is fashion design and visual merchandising. And so we do a lot of projects in that where I can really express my creativity. But I was realizing with all of this, all of this had to do with someone else. Like it wasn't just me. So like with the Instagram for my school, like someone else was running it with me. And then for the posters that I would make, like yes, I was making the posters, but I I had to write a certain thing on the posters. Obviously for my class, like that stuff was all for a grade. And so I really just wanted something that was a creative outlet for me that I could truly, it was just like all me, if that makes sense. I can't find the hand mixer thing. I don't want to use that. Should I just hand mix it myself? I'm always so bad at cooking. Okay. Why is this stressing me out more than it needs to? Okay, we're just mixing it with my hand. Okay, so where was I with my story? So I thought about making a YouTube and vlogging and editing stuff because I had had experience with editing before just a long time ago though. Like when I was little in like elementary school, I would edit music videos with my friends. So I knew that I enjoyed editing and I knew that I could do it. I also knew that I was spending this weekend with my mom in San Francisco. This is not working. It comes that weekend, I just filmed everything on my phone. I had just gotten a new phone, so I do have a really nice iPhone, which is why my quality is not noticeable that it's an iPhone. That was at the beginning of my winter break, and then throughout the rest of my winter break, I did a few more videos, um, some of which were taken down, but my Tahoe one is still up. I filmed two more videos at the beginning of January. They had my school in it, so I took them down for like privacy reasons or whatever. So then I, filmed my prom vlog and my prom vlog in my opinion was the turning point for me in like not only my YouTube and like making these videos but also my like life in general I feel like it was a turning point for me. I was making all of these videos um, just for my friends and at this point up until January for those four videos that I had two of them are only up now I wasn't telling a lot of people like I was just telling my closest friends and my family and I was posting them on YouTube So that it would be easier for them to see it I wasn't going into it being like I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and be a youtuber I was just trying to like make it easier for the people I wanted to see it to be able to see it so prom was in March and where am I going with this? Um, oh, okay. So prom was on a Saturday and that week before prom, I just, I had a lot going on. Um, I was actually running for student body president that whole week. 
And so I was campaigning, student body president, they run the leadership class that I've been talking about. And seniors run, or soon to be seniors run, which is me, the whole entire school votes. And my school's pretty big. Um, I think we have a little over 3,000 people. And so campaigning for this was a lot of work just to reach everyone. I put posters up every day during lunch and brunch. I would go and talk to people and stuff like that and introduce myself. And that Friday, I found out that I lost. And then the next day was prom and I got ready with my friends and everything. At prom, I didn't mention this in my vlog either, but I was nominated for prom queen and I also lost. So that was two losses in a row in my Yes, prom queen is not a big deal. Like I wasn't expecting to win prom queen or like wanting to win prom queen, I just got nominated. But student body president, I have been wanting to be student body president since freshman year. And I just losing it was kind of just like, my entire high school career, I've been like working towards winning student body president and then I lost. And so it was kind of just a weird like thought process that was going on in my head. I don't know how to explain how I felt. I don't know, it was kind of discouraging, um, especially because I had wanted it for so long. It was one of those situations where it's like, I knew I would be happy if I won student body president, but because I didn't, I kind of had the mentality like I can't be happy now. But throughout the week, I kind of got better. Everything started to feel a little bit better and stuff like that. I realized like it's really not the end of the world and um, Everything was gonna be fine, right? After that week went by, that week was pretty hard. I was kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I wasn't disappointed in myself because I knew that I had campaigned my hardest. And um, the only thing that I was more like, I was feeling a lot of little embarrassed too that I had put myself out there and introduced myself to so many people and publicized it and everything like that just to lose. And everyone knew I lost. And so like, I was feeling a lot of those emotions. So a week went by, then it was spring break. So it was now the beginning of April. And that weekend I sat down and I started editing my prom vlog. I edited it really quickly just because that was kind of all I was doing. And um, I just loved editing that. My prom vlog is still today my favorite video that I have up. When I was done editing, I decided that I was going to upload it, but I was also going to tell people to go watch it, which I wasn't doing before. Um, like I said before with my previous videos, I wasn't posting it. I was just telling my closer friends to go watch it and like sending little links out. It wasn't that I was trying to like hide that I had a YouTube, like it wasn't like that. I wasn't ready to show people like my work and I wasn't extremely happy with those first few vlogs. Like I feel like I was still learning and getting in the process, but with my prom vlog, I loved my prom vlog. I, like I said, I still do love my prom vlog and I wanted to show it to people. I posted it everywhere and then it also got way more than just that. Because my prom was so early and I posted that like, it wasn't so early, but it was earlier than most and I posted it. It did get a lot of views, way more views than I was expecting, which I was really happy about, honestly, obviously. Um, but it was kind of weird, because I wasn't expecting it. That was just crazy for me that it was getting so many views, because my previous videos were getting like 20 views, literally my family and my friends. Not only was I publicizing it to like more people, but like also random people were watching it from YouTube. So after that, I started getting into more of the YouTube channel part of it versus just like the editing videos part of it. And I was like, okay, like maybe I should take like my channel part more seriously to reflect like my videos. I posted two more vlogs and then I posted the get ready with me for my boyfriend's prom. And I will admit that one, um, that one's probably one of my least favorite videos. And I also definitely filmed that video with the intention of getting a lot of views. And I think it shows. Um, to me, it personally, I can see it showing. It wasn't fun to edit and it wasn't fun to film. And I just, I posted it and I, I made it because of the views. And I think that reflects it. And um, I think that's also a good lesson. So then after I posted the senior ball one, I decided to do a daily vlog. 
it obviously got way more views than I was expecting, which was kind of crazy for me. I feel like it would be crazy for anyone. I just really didn't have the mentality going into this that like, I want to be a YouTuber. Like I want to make money. I want to do this for a living. It was kind of just like, I just want a creative outlet. From that vlog, a lot of people, again, have been asking me questions. Even when my prom one kind of blew up, um, I was getting some questions like, I wish I had better answers for all of you who ask because I do want to help you out and stuff, but like, I really don't know how this is happening. And I'm still figuring it out myself. Like when I posted that daily vlog, I had a thousand subscribers and most of those subscribers, if not all of them were from my prom vlog. And um, then I posted this one and now I'm at 25,000 subscribers. Like that's just, that's crazy to me. And like, I don't, I really don't know how it happened, but I do know that I do love it. Like I found me found something that's such a good creative outlet for me, but also it's different. I'm gonna put these in one second. Okay, now I can talk. Editing is definitely my favorite part. Filming is okay, but like pulling it all together, deciding what music, doing cuts and stuff, and just sitting down and editing a video that I filmed, that I made. It's just really exciting for me and I really love it. I feel like I'm just really like expressing myself creatively in a way that I've never been able to before and I'm actually able to share it with people. Um, more people than I could ever imagine, 25,000 of you, which, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just so, so, so grateful and thankful that like this came into my life. I'm really excited to see where it takes me. So the only thing is I really don't, like I barely have time for this, but I make time because I like it so much. Over the summer, once school stops, I probably will have more time, but still not like a ton. I still have a busy schedule over the summer. I have swim practice nine times a week still. And then I also work as a lifeguard and work as a swim instructor for kids. I just, yeah, I'm really happy. If you wanna start a YouTube video, definitely do it. You don't need fancy equipment or fancy editing thing. I. Like I said, I started filming on my iPhone. I'm still filming on my iPhone right now. And um, I edit with iMovie. I know a few of you were asking about that. For everyone else, even if you're not trying to start a YouTube channel, like I definitely thought that I wasn't going to be happy because of all the events leading up to this. Everything in my head that I thought would make me happy wasn't there and so I thought that equaled that I wasn't going to be happy but that's not true. You will find happiness in other things even if it's not what you're expecting to find happiness in. Even if one thing doesn't work out that you thought would be the answer to happiness, there is more than one answer to happiness for everyone. Just yeah I don't know where I was going with that and I'm going to practice soon but Thank you all for watching up until this point. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and who's watching up to this point. Um, thank you. I just, it, it's way cooler than I expected. And I thank you for being so positive and encouraging and supportive and subscribing. Like, oh my gosh. And I'm so excited for what else is to come. Definitely expect more vlogs coming your way from me. Also, I'm sorry if I was looking like not at the lens the entire time, but again, I'm filming on my iPhone, so sometimes it's hard to like not look at the bigger screen and look at the tiny little lens. And I will see you in my next video.